best software for graphic design is the topic of today's video. Welcome to the channel, I am Tutorial Tucker, and welcome to this awesome video where I'll be going over the best software for graphic design to get yourself started. This is for beginners and advanced users because I go through all the steps you need to take to make some awesome graphics basically for your YouTube channel or just for anything. You know, this can include YouTube channels, Instagram pictures, literally anything, and it's literally Photoshop. It's a Photoshop alternative essentially. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Please smash a like, subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. Please subscribe, it took me so long to make this. And yeah, enjoy the video. So everybody, now we're on the software I'm showing you and it's simply called Pixar.com, okay? But before you click off and you've heard the software, I'm showing you a full tutorial on how to go and edit in, in Pixlr and make some really awesome designs. And it is an awesome free graphic design software. So the first thing you wanna do, I recommend the Advanced Pixlr. This is literally Photoshop and I'm showing you how to use it. It's insane. Let's jump straight into this. So click Advanced Pixlr and it's gonna load this up. Now, as you see, I've just been testing, but when you first get here, click on Create New and here you've got so many default settings which are really useful. So you've got 720p, Full HD, 1920x1080. So for the, these are perfect for YouTube thumbnails. Obviously, this isn't just for YouTube um, Instagram pictures, Instagram stories. I'm making a YouTube banner as an example. So you come over here to the custom. I might even just put banner in here just so it's safe. But like I said, you don't actually have to log in either. I don't know if I mentioned that. Anyway, width. Um, so this is a 1440 by 2560, just like so. Oh no, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. That's the wrong way around. So 2560 by 1440, that is the uh, what you need for a YouTube banner. You can add out a background, so it could be white. I personally just quite like transparent because it's easier for me. But yeah, you could have a white background and then just add text. Uh, but you can change the background to pretty much anything. But yeah, I'm going to be transparent, then go and click create. And it's going to load you this brand new this brand new canvas. So yeah, you can literally use all the keys, which are similar to Photoshop, I'm pretty sure. You can use like control plus and minus, and you can just zoom in and out like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is find, you need a template for a YouTube banner. So I'm going to find the image, and then I'm going to go and show you how to import them. So all I've searched up is YouTube and a template and then click images and I'm going to find an example one. So I usually go for this one, but do make sure it's actually got the right dimensions. So here as you can see it is 2560 by 1440. It's quite small. Then right click on it and all you're going to do is click save image as and save it. I'll save it in this file here. Um, yeah, I know that is awesome. So I may have to blur that out because it has got some personal files. But yeah, the next thing I'm going to do is click file and open image. And then it's going to bring up your, your browser, your like, you know, your download folder uh, or wherever you've got it set. I'm going to open mine up right now. So then as you, as you can see, you um it's going to bring up this and the pre-site, it will resize your image automatically. But as you can see, I need it to be the same because it's template. So obviously I'm going to click original, click apply, and now it's brought it in. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a new layer, um, empty. Because if you use this layer, as you can see, it's the background. It's just hard to remove at the end. Sometimes I remove that. So yeah, the first thing I always do when I get this is I draw shapes. Um, just to, I want to show you as well. So you want to come to the shape tool, which is just here. And you want to do a rectangle. And I'm just going to simply zoom out a bit and fill in this bit here. So as you can see, it's so easy to use. We have seemed to have got the stroke on. So I'm going to turn that off here. Uh, zero. I may have to redraw that quickly. We'll do Control Z and it will go. And I'm going to quickly redraw that shape with zero stroke. Yes, yeah, on zero now. Awesome. Yeah, perfect. Just a black box. That's all I need. And do another one down here in the same layer, by the way. That's why I did create a new layer, as you can see here. And I can change the opacity if I need to. Um, that's the transparency. You can make it darker and lighter. So yeah, now I've got this. Now all I need to do is go and add a background for the actual logo. This is all that actually is displayed on YouTube banners. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go and add some text. So obviously I'm going to add my channel name. So I press T and I'm going to start typing. So as you can see, you'll get a pop-up saying, do you want to add a new text layer? And you want to click add, obviously. And uh, yep, now you can type your text in here. So I'm going to type it. So tutorial Tucker. Just like so, and then highlight it all by doing Control and A, and you can go in and change the font. So, I need to highlight it all again, I think, and click on Font, and then you can go and choose one you want. So there are so many; it's so awesome. I honestly, I might just scroll through because I don't want to pick one too early and then find you know better ones later. And you can actually see what it's like just by highlighting it. So actually, I really like that design. I'm going to go for that. Now it is quite small, so I'm just going to quickly come to the size and just increase it by dragging it just like so. And it is limited by how you drag these up. So you may need to increase the size like that. Um, but because of the mobile design on YouTube, you can only have it that 
so it's a bit too big basically what I'm trying to say is it's got to be within this first rectangle here so I'm gonna just lower the size a bit uh, clicking up here and just tight just a tiny bit uh, perfect so then I'm gonna make sure it's centered it automatically centers it with the lines which is so awesome so now I've got the text I need to go and add a cool and quirky background so to do that I could simply just come here and add like a cool gradient uh, by clicking this tool here as you can see gradient well, I could just have a basic fill so I could just go and have like I don't know a basic you know colored background literally anything you want uh, so I'm gonna probably add a new layer again by clicking this plus here and go empty and then I can go and draw like a basic color here and you can change it by going in here I'm pretty sure yeah I don't want that so I'm just gonna go and delete that layer again and go and find a good background on Google so to do that just come here and what I often search is come up here and just simply Google like an abstract background just like so and it's going to give you a load of cool backgrounds which you can layer up and do loads of cool effects with. So one I quite fancy is this one actually. This looks pretty nice. So yeah, I actually quite like this background. So all I'm going to do is click on it. And instead of saving this time, you can actually go and copy and paste, which is insanely useful. So sometimes if it doesn't load up properly, just come back here, click copy image instead and come back to Pixlr and then come down here and simply do control V. And as you can see, we've got it here. So I'm just going to enlarge it a bit uh, just so it fits the whole image. Uh, quickly like this so this has got a bit of a watermark so I may change that um, because obviously it's the brand protected but what I'm gonna do for now is just add that so yeah I'm gonna drag this over and I'm gonna make sure this is actually between so to move the layers you quickly grab like that and put it in so now I can see what it's actually looking like and I'm gonna add like I think because of the bright blue we should add something to make the, the text pop out a bit more so all I'm gonna do is draw another shape so I'm gonna add a new layer click the plus again uh, empty and simply go and into the shape tool and draw just a box around the text. So it's got it in front of it because it's creating a new layer obviously so it's going to go on top but you can simply grab it and we did before and now we've got that black box a really cool stroke actually. So I might increase that stroke just a bit more or we'll just keep it the same I think that looks pretty nice about that size and that's looking really cool so it's starting to come together we've got the text and it's all centered which is really important so like I said to center it you drag it and it will do that and I'm just going to make the little box around the text a bit smaller because we don't need it that big anymore and I may do that just a tiny bit more just like so and we've got the text and then we can go back to our to our layers so here's the first layer like I said before so I'm pretty happy how this is coming together we've got a really nice banner and it's looking really professional and this I would say you know you could sell this actually um, and it's pretty high quality now the next thing to key is just to add is some more layers I want to go and add all the social medias of the channel or whatever you want to add so I'm gonna go and add my social medias but I want to add a different color box so to do that I'm just gonna click on this white and change it to more of a yellow maybe we'll see how that looks and then we can draw the star by clicking back on the shapes so what we're going to do is click on that and select an image layer so I need to go and add a new layer uh, empty and we can draw it and as you can see we've got that but I may lower the stroke a bit or increase actually we'll see how it looks I'm, I'm going to go for lower um, actually you have to remain the same you have to do it before you create the image so here I don't know how that looks but I think I quite like it so I'm going to add that here I think I'm just going to du duplicate that right click on it and click duplicate have it either size just so it has a bit of um symmetry and now we've got that i don't know if i like that or not no i'm gonna go with that but that's the add stars if you're interested what i'm gonna do is finally just fin to finish it off i'm gonna go and add some text boxes um so i'm gonna think i'm gonna change from the yellow to maybe like a dark blue with white text how'd that look we'll go for that um so click okay and then you need to go and add a new layer again so click the plus here and you've got all your history down there i'm pretty sure that's that earlier <laughs> history uh, empty now and then we can go and simply drag this box and as you can see it's still a star so click off this and i'm going to make it a rectangle again oh no i'm going to make a rounded rectangle just so it has a bit smoother sides and increase the stroke of it uh because i think because it's it's quite a dark a dark color it must have to, uh, like a, a bit of a stroke on it um so let's go for that that looks good i don't know yeah that's good that's good um and then drag it you click that again we can drag it no not clicking the wrong layer and there we go so now we can simply go and add some text into there by clicking the text tool again and clicking and then we can go and add the text so do you want to add a new text layer add and then we can quickly go and type something so i'm just gonna say at tutorial tucker i don't have a that actual at um but i, I think i still think it'll look really really good so then click on that click color and we can change it to another white because i think it just it'll look better on the the darker color so let me decrease the size that is too big so i need to go back up here lower the size just a bit so it fits in perfectly 
and uh, yeah, let's get that in there. Perfect. So I think that is a pretty good banner. So then to save it, all you need to do is click file and then go and click save here and you can go and save it uh, down to your computer and click download. That's all you have to do. Uh, so I'm just going to make this YouTube banner just like so and that looks really good and you can change the quality and make it 100 and that is it then you could go and upload that to YouTube or whatever you want whatever couple of graphic design software it is so that's how you go and use this awesome software click download and as you can see it's literally just gone and downloaded and we can open it up just to prove you it's fully working so I hope this video has helped you out if it has please go and leave a big fat like down below I'd really do appreciate it subscribe to the channel turn the notifications on and I'll catch you in the next one peace out